Well, folks, you go woke, you go broke. Companies going woke may need to think twice about their public stances. The 2022 Axios Harris Top 100 poll of the most popular brands in America is out and shows the companies that did not get involved in woke politics have actually done better than those that have. The survey shows Trader Joe's having the best reputation among consumers, but get this, four of the top 10 most popular companies in the U.S. are actually from Japan. Meanwhile, big tech companies that have increasingly embraced left wing, not so good. But Facebook and Twitter at the bottom of the list, coming in at 97 and 98. Apple, which is more politically neutral at 21. Here to discuss, I'm joined by former commissioner for Mayors Bloomberg and Giuliani, Brian Anderson, and marketing and branding expert John Tantillo. Uh, Brian, I'll start with you. Um, I do want to point out HEB, by the way, which was number two on the list, uh, did something. They actually, they're down in Texas, and they actually have agreed they're going to uh, tear down that school down there in Uvalde and build a new school uh, on their dime. So these, these are the, I don't consider that woke. I think that be that's just being a good citizen. It is, and it, and it, and it plays well, and they certainly took that into consideration. But, you know, there are certain platforms that pretend to be platforms for public discussion, yet, you know, Twitter and uh, they just fell to the bottom of the list by banning any discussion of the 22 <laughs> right. election. Uh, yeah. They banned President Trump. I mean, right, right. Uh, you know, you can do that, but understand that you know, America is pretty evenly divided right now. So if you're going to play to one audience, it's not going to play well with the other half. I, I was surprised Trader Joe's was at the top. I mean, I love Trader Joe's. Go yeah. there uh, uh, myself. But yeah. uh, does, is that any surprise at all? Here? Oh, you know, I shop there, but I've mm. never noticed any kind of politics. Politics. No. So you just go and you say, well, it's, it's so cheaper than most places. It's and, an enjoyable experience. Right. And you leave it at that. No one's going to, you know, make me wear a mask or discuss politics with me. Right. Or right. put things in my face that I don't necessarily want to see. You're seeing this right now at, at even at concerts. Yeah. When people are walking out on, on performers. It's kind of the shut up and sing. Right. Uh, right. Routine. They and don't want to hear it. Yeah. They, they don't want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, John Tantillo, uh, give me your take. There are a lot of Japanese companies on this list. How do you read that? I read that as uh, in Japanese culture, what you never want to do is embarrass anyone. And if I can remember, Grandpa uh, Tita once said to me, you never discuss politics or religion in good company. Uh, for me, uh, because the Japanese com uh, uh, companies have this thing of respect and not embarrassing uh, customers, they don't want to get near of politics with a 10-foot pole, so they stay away from it. So that's what I would say is what you see going on there. They yeah. don't want to embarrass customers. Yeah, a survey showed us the truth about all the advertising we hear for companies. For instance, Delta Airlines, they claim number one customer satisfaction by J.D. Power. But the Harris survey ranks them 66th out of 100. Uh, speaking of woke companies, this is uh, among the wokest of the woke, right? Ben and Jerry's uh, back in the Middle East despite plans to boycott Israel for their conflict with Palestinians. Brian, shed some light on this one. Well, just tell the airlines. You know, they're an airline. I want to fly somewhere with you. You're a good airline. It's good customer service. Go on time. But, but, and go on time. <laughs> but then you get involved with the Georgia ID voter law. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yet I have to show an ID when I get on your plane. So I... It doesn't jive. There was no need to get involved with this. Just give me the product and let me make my own decisions. You know, one of the things that it strikes me, uh, John, is that uh, Disney has misplayed this whole thing. They, they've become woke. They became the, the most political of the political. And, 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 in, a, in a world, in a market in which you specifically go there not to think about politics. Yeah, they should remember what uh, their founder, Walt, uh, said uh, in the old days and what Dolly Parton says, I entertain, I don't talk about politics. And uh, that's really the secret. People, when they, want, when they go for entertainment, want, don't want to deal with uh, politics. And that's why you see all the late night comedians uh, with their ratings tumbling and uh, nobody wants to listen to it because you want you just don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Um, and, and finally, uh, what do you think about uh, uh, the brand, the Donald Trump brand? I mean, if he has sold nothing in his life, it's definitely been the brand 
Trump. He's literally sold that, right, as a brand. Absolutely. So he's really good at marketing that. Some people felt like he was going to announce. Um, uh, we didn't see that yesterday. Uh, what do you think is going on? He's teasing it out. Uh, he's keeping people in suspense, in suspense which is a, a marketing As tactic, a marketer, too. Yeah. Just yeah. keep them wanting more. And uh, I, I think you'll see your star rise. Uh, yeah. uh, he's still beating everyone in the field right now. Yeah, and, and the Republicans, for sure. And that can change so quickly. Yes, yeah, uh, absolutely. You know. And we've seen that. Uh, final thought, John. Well, I think that Donald Trump, the reason why he's so popular is he's not perceived as a political brand. He's uh, perceived as a personality that people like, and he's perceived as being real. And I'm going to have to chew on that one, not a political brand. <laughs> well, he's not a politician. You know, he, well, he I, ran yeah, as know. not a politician. Right, right. But, no, but that's right. he is, by definition, a politician. He's in the game. Yeah, <laughs> right. so, yeah, yeah. A, a pretty big game. Yeah, he was yeah. at the height of it. Uh, Brian Anderson, John Tantillo, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. That's we want to remind our audience that we have a story about these top 100 brands, see who's on the list, who the losers are. Also, you can check it out at Newsmax.com right now.